This is Hydrogen TAP-1 Series 3L. What we're looking at here is the output from the Series 3L unit. This is a half-inch hose, and it is putting out considerable gas right now. We're only running at around 25 amps. In a moment, we'll take a quick look at the gauge and it's only running around 12 volts. If you were using this in your car, you would be charging at about 15 volts, and we'd be putting out around 30 amps. 30 amps is the marker that we're looking for. As you can see, this is putting considerable gas out, even at 25 amps. The view is not too good of the gas coming out. We'll show you a better view of that in a minute. It's not even 25 amps. And we're running at about 12 and a half volts. So if you take this and scale it up at 30 amps, you can imagine how much gas would be coming out of here. Uh, the only reason I can't show you that running on 30 amps is because my charging system will not charge the battery up fast enough for that to occur. As you can see, we're running at about 20, 22, 23 amps, which is not a, enough. But even at 23 amps, we're getting considerable amount of gas coming out. The 3L system, if you go to hydrogentap.tap.com, you'll see the outputs and the temperature of the water. The ideal for this system would be running at 30 amps. Remember, there's no electrolyte. This is running on straight tap water, which has been the goal all along. You can see we're only running at 12, not even quite 12 and a half volts. The Series 3L is geared for upgrades. There's the half inch port on the top for the gas that we're using right now. It's actually a T, which gives you two half-inch ports. Most other units, or most people, would be running a quarter-inch pipe coming from the hydrogen unit. This is a half-inch. You certainly can put a plug in there and run it at a quarter-inch. The Series 3L has a water port input port on the top and a connection port to another series 3L on the bottom. The series 3L, 3L have two electrode in place on the top of the unit. The 3L series also enables you to open the unit up. It's got a seal on the top, which allow you to gain access to the plates. This is a 15 plate system. The 3L system is a 15 plate system. It has room for an upgrade for another 15 plates inside, which brings you to 30 plates. The plates are three inches by five and a half inches. They're stainless steel. As you can see, we're still running around 12 volts, which is not enough. But we're getting plenty of hydrogen out of here. I don't have one, but I am getting a charger for my lab, which will be giving me the amount of output amperage that I need. I do not have it right now. Some of the other features of the 3L is that it has got plastic top and bottom, hard plastic.
which enables you to see clear through the top and the bottom of the unit. And there are no grounds in this unit. The whole unit is conducted with plastic, which means all the grounds are floating. The ideal situation, there's a good view of the hydrogen output. That's a half inch tube. This is a, a true half inch. There's a plug on the other side. We're getting a throughput of one half inch gas. The three L series is nine inches in the center and a half inch on both top and bottom. The plastic is hard enough so that you can add to or drill more holes in it if you like. Again, if you want to see some of the outputs, go to the hydrogen tap, tap.com. I've listed some of that there, along with labels on the unit so you can see exactly what it is. You can see the two clamps on the electrodes there. Normally, you'll be running that through a fuse, which comes with a 3L. But the, st the testing station I have already is fused, so I can bypass that. Everything on the 3L system is very sturdy, as you can see. The plates are the plates are in place by that screw there on this side and another screw on the other side. It holds the place in steady and they are also sitting on a stand which keeps them from hitting the bottom.